Great to see you all again. Can we do something fun, Bucks? <laughs> mm hmm Yes, of course. Today, we're going to learn something about the moon. About the moon? You can only see it at night. Or can we see it now too, Bucks? Well, shall we have a look? We're going to travel to space together in our very own rocket. Yeah, we're going into space! First, I'd like to see if you can recognize the moon. Here are three pictures. Can you tell me which one is the moon? <laughs> it's not the yellow one. That's a bit of cheese. Cheese? <laughs> yes, it looks a bit like the moon. But you can't fool me, Vox. <laughs> All right, Toby. The cheese one isn't the real moon. But which one do you think is the real moon? Not the blue one. That's the Earth. Yes, you're right. It's Earth. You can see blue seas and white clouds. It's the middle one. The grey one is the moon. It has holes too, but they're not made of cheese. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's the moon, of course. And it goes around the Earth. It looks like it has a face, doesn't it? <laughs> yes! Look at that. It's full of holes. Yes, it's full of round holes. Do you know why, Box? Yes, those round holes are called craters. That's where the surface has been hit by meteors. Meteors are bits of rock or metal that fly through space. When they hit the moon, it can be so hard it makes a hole. Sometimes it's just a little dent, but you can also see great big craters. And why is the moon so gray? That's because the moon is made of rock. Scientists think the moon was created millions of years ago when another planet bumped into Earth. Wow. The bump broke off lots of rock. Whoa. Those chunks of rock clumped together and began orbiting around the Earth. The rocks began to stick together and slowly they formed a big ball of rock. But why is the moon so bright if it's made of rock? The moon doesn't give off light. Uh, what do you mean? Well, let me explain. The moon is made of rock. And rock doesn't give off light. But the moon can be so bright. Yes. Why does it shine so brightly? The moon actually gets its light from the sun. Huh? Yes, it works like this. The sun shines on the moon then the sun rays reflect off the surface of the moon and we can see the light from Earth. In fact, we're really looking at reflected sun rays. Wow! <laughs> so we actually have a bit of sunlight at night time. That's funny. Sometimes we can only see half a moon. But why is that? Well, let's have a look, shall we? The sun shines on the moon. The moon orbits the Earth, and as it's going around, we sometimes see the side that is completely lit up. That's a full moon! That's right, but often we see the moon like this, when the sun is shining on one side. Then half of it is in the light, and the other half is in the dark. A half moon, but actually it's still completely round. Yes, you just don't see the dark part in the night sky. 
That's why it looks like there's just a half moon in the sky. And sometimes you can't see the moon at all. When the sun is shining on the back of the moon. Then we can't see it. But luckily, it all keeps turning and we see a light side again. And it keeps going till we get the full moon. Let's play a game. Can you guess what this is? Um, there's some blue. Something blue? Is it the sky? Oh, yes, it's sky. Um, some white. Is it something that flies in the sky? Is it a bird? No, it's not a bird. Hmm. Look, more white. Oh, I know, I know. It's a rocket. Yes, a rocket. Well spotted, Toby and Peppa. It's a rocket. And to be more precise, it's the first rocket that took people to the moon over 50 years ago. So this is quite an old film. The mission was called Apollo 11. Three astronauts took four days to get to the moon. When they got to the moon, two of the astronauts called Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin were able to get out and walk on the moon. In spacesuits! They wore special protective suits, just like ours. There's no oxygen on the moon, and it can get very hot or very cold. And what did they do there? What did they do? Well, they didn't just go for a walk, of course. They set up all kinds of measuring equipment to find out more about the moon. And they collected lots of rock to take back so they could study it here on Earth. Since then, people have gone to the moon five more times. Can we play a guessing game? I'll ask the question and you have to guess the answer, okay? Okie dokie, Toby. Right. How big is the moon compared to the Earth? Is it about the same size as the Earth? Is it a hundred times smaller than the Earth? Or about four times smaller than the Earth? Um, a hundred times smaller. No, that's not right, Peppa. Uh. It is smaller than the Earth, but not that small. The Moon is about four times smaller than the Earth. So, almost four moons would fit in the Earth. Oh, it looks much smaller. Brrr. The moon looks so small because it's very, very far away, isn't it, Bugs? You're absolutely right, Toby. And did you know that other planets also have their own moons? Huh? Are there more moons then? Absolutely. Some planets even have more than one moon. I'd love to see those moons. Here are the planets in our solar system. Some planets don't have any moon, like Venus and Mercury. Aw, poor things. But most of them have more than one. For instance, Mars, the orangey red planet in the middle, has two moons. That's fun, to have two moons. I wish we had two moons. Well, how would you like to have 14 moons like Neptune? Look, there's one of them. It looks more like a big rock. But it's nothing compared to Jupiter, the striped planet at the top right. It has 79 moons. Whoa, that's a lot. And they're all different. <laughs> they look a bit like marbles. <laughs> but our moon is the nicest. Isn't it, Fox? That's lucky because we can't just swap our moon for another. going, but we'll come back to space soon, won't we, Box? Yes, of course. We'll come back again soon. Bye-bye! Goodbye. Bye, space. See you soon. <laughs> Did you like it too, Peppa? Yes! That was a great journey through space. And do you remember all the things you learned? Um... Ooh. Look, this is 
is the moon. It's made of lots of rock. And the moon is full of great bit holes called craters. The sun shines on the moon, which makes it look like it's bright. Sometimes we see half the moon and sometimes we see the full moon. And of course, our planet Earth has only one moon. But most of the other planets have lots and lots of moons. Woohoo! Well, wasn't that a great journey? Yes! And next time we'll go there, or there, or there. <laughs> yes. Goodbye, everyone. Bye. See you all next time. Goodbye. Bye, Toby. Bye, Pepper. Bye, Box the Bear.